me. It is the king of the urban jungle. My shoes upon his feet. It is the hamster man from Amsterdam. Gerbils and hamsters, that's his game. You want a small rodent, just call out his name. He's the hamster man. Colin is a little anxious. For the first time since he has owned the pet store, he is going to be audited. Colin? You realise that... Uh... Might have 10 vouchers can't go under accounts receivable. That's because we had a sale. But that can't count. We, we can't put that towards the total with the, the, the might have 10 vouchers can't go in there. I, I really can't work out what was, what, what's going on here. OK, so that's the pellets. That's the pellets. Have you got a receipt for those? Or an invoice? We just feed them to the animals. We don't feed them to the sellers. OK, but do you sell them to people to feed to their animals? We sell them to people to feed to their animals. Yeah, you do? Yeah. And have you got any paperwork showing that you've sold, sold it to people? No, no, this is the, the stone catalogue and that's great. But I, I need... Uh, it's getting there. It's, um, it, it's one of the more difficult ones I've done. Uh, pet shops are notoriously difficult to order, though. There's going to be a lot of work cut out for us here. For a starter, Colin's operating the wrong financial year. We're, we're short on a lot of paperwork, a lot of receipts, uh, but apparently uh, Colin's got a, a big stash of those somewhere, so we... OK. Um, have you got more? That's it. That, that's that one. Uh, have you got any more of these for... The squeaky bones? Yeah. <laughs> when they buy them, do you keep that piece of paper that comes out of the till? Uh, no. Have you ever? No, we, we normally shred that and put it in the hamster cages. He's the hamster man. Hamster man, hamster man.